Welcome to The Terrible Take, a daily segment telling Steelers Nation what's on our mind. I'm Alex Kazora. I don't want to dwell on the past, and today's take is going to be total speculation by me. Okay, most of my takes probably are. But there's one thing that rookie receiver Calvin Austin said yesterday that stuck in my head, something that clicked about why the Steelers moved on from wide receivers coach Ike Hilliard so soon, lasting just two years with the team. Austin talked about how important new wide receivers coach Frisman Jackson said it was for him and the rest of the Steelers receivers to be versatile, to line up not just in one position, but all over the field. It's good for the team and good for the player to understand the playbook and the offense to see the big picture of it all. Jackson is absolutely right. Last year, the Steelers didn't seem to have such flexibility. Once Juju Smith-Schuster went down, the team was sort of stuck. They had three outside receivers, Deontay Johnson, Chase Claypool, and James Washington, but no one they could slide inside. That's why Claypool remained outside and why he effectively blocked Washington. Thinking back to camp, those guys didn't move around too much either, and it was Washington running behind Claypool as the outside Z throughout the summer. Now, I understand on paper, those are outside guys and were drafted as such, so maybe Hilliard isn't fully to blame here, but I think the Steelers were frustrated with the limited versatility of their receivers, and that was the reason for the change. At least one of them. These decisions are rarely made in a vacuum or based off just one thing, especially if we're talking on the field. So that's one change Jackson seems to be making. The Steelers' offensive collective strength needs to be its receivers. It's where they're the deepest and have the most talent, and a good group there will do wonders for whoever is under center. Be sure to follow us at SteelersDepot.com and check out episodes of The Terrible Take every day at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And check out The Terrible Podcast, myself and Dave Bryan, every Tuesday and Friday.